This is the Explorers of Deep Precon upgrade. These are cards that I would recommend that you upgrade the deck with. So if you disagree, that's completely fine. So let's read our commander real quick. Our commander is Hawkball of the Surging Soul. This is a 3-3 Merfolk Scout for two green and a blue. At the beginning of combat on your turn, each Merfolk you control explores. And that means we're going to reveal the top card of our library. We're going to put that into our hand if it's a land. Otherwise, we're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on the exploring creature. Then we're going to put that card back into the top of the library, or we can even put it into the graveyard. We get that choice. Whenever Hawkball of the Surging Soul attacks, we can put a land from our hand onto the battlefield, and if we don't, we get to draw a card. So let's talk about the upgrades I recommend for the deck. First is Bread for the Hunt. This is an enchantment that says whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it would deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Our Merfolk are going to have plus one plus one counters, so why not draw a card when they deal combat damage to one of the opponents? Again, this is just a 20 cent card, and I think this is a great upgrade for the deck. Next up, Danny Pink. This is a 4-3 Human Soldier Advisor with Mentor, but more importantly, creatures you control have whenever one or more counters are put on this creature for the first time each turn, we're going to draw a card. We are putting counters on these Merfolk like nobody's business, so Danny Pink was a great upgrade. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Whenever one or more non-token merfolk you control become tapped, create a 1-1 creature token with hexproof. We are going to attack a lot in this deck. And so getting these little merfolk may not seem like much, but they're going to be 1-1s with hexproof. We want to attack anyways. This is just a 2 mana enchantment. I thought this was a pretty decent upgrade. Elven Chorus. We can look at the top card of our library at any time. And now we can cast creature spells from the top of our library. Also, our creatures are going to have tap at one mana of any color. So we get to cast creatures from the top of our library. And now all of our creatures are mana dorks. Great enchantment right here. Next, we have Forerunner of the Heralds. This lets us tutor for any merfolk, and we're going to put it on the top of our library. And whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield under our control, this gets a plus one, plus one counter. Really great stuff right here. And just 27 cents. Jade Light Spelunker. When this enters the battlefield, it's going to explore X times, and X is the amount that we're going to pay into this. Our deck wants to explore, wants to have a bunch of plus one plus one counters. This is a great card for it. Jiang Yang Gu, Wild Crafter. So each creature with a plus one plus one counter on it is going to have tap, add one mana of any color, and we can put a plus one plus one counter on target creature using the minus one. Next is Leyline of Anticipation. We get to cast our cards as though they had flash. Very powerful stuff here, especially for a dollar and 26 cents. Lol Mage Mentor. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may put a 1-1 blue merfolk creature token onto the battlefield. We don't care so much about that, but the second part, we can tap seven untapped merfolk we control, and we get to counter target spell. This is coming in at $1.76. I think this is going to be one that will be easily removed for sure. This is going to be a target, so just be prepared. If you get this one, it will most likely be removed on the spot. The last upgrade I want to talk about is Tempest Caller. When this enters the battlefield, we get to tap all creatures target opponent controls. So this will give us a great way to just take out one of our opponents when this enters the battlefield. Now, some people do want to know the cards I would be removing, and here they are. I don't really want to go too much into the explanation, but pretty much they were lackluster. I thought there were better merfolk to be added to this deck, and I also have a link to the cards I'm adding and taking out in the description down below. And if you want to purchase any of the cards that I'm adding to this deck, you get to support the channel at no additional cost to you, so I want to say thank you very much. And if you want to see the pirate deck I just upgraded, you can click on this card right here, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, peace.